All right, what's up with y'all here, Don? It's your boy. It's your boy, the capo. You know, it's a great day to motivate. It's a great day to be motivated. It's a great day to, like, you know, have some motivation. And uh, this is a midweek. Uh, this is the midweek talk, lecture, uh, conversation that... Uh, I have, and uh, I want to thank the God of my understanding for being here, first of all. And uh, you got to excuse me for being, uh, you know, <laughs> a little punch punch drunk. I mean, even though I haven't been fighting or boxing, I haven't been fighting with life and this illness. So, uh, you know, right now, medication and all this other stuff and trying to uh, get past it. And, and realize that, you know, I am the living example of what I preach or what I say or what I do. In a, some days you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to be like, man, when I was hustling, I ain't had to get up if I was sick or I had to get up if I was worried. And some days you might be a little tired, you might be a little sick and you might be, it might be some stuff happening to you and you know you got to pay that bill you got to go to work so you know I, I'm to the point in my life where I say you know it's enough about excuses there's enough about uh, uh, taking an easy road out uh, regardless of whether my health is is somewhat bad or I'm hooked up or whatever in the hospital out the hospital regardless of what I, I have to realize that uh, you know it's my duty to be on time. It's my duty to be efficient. It's my duty to keep my word. It's my duty to show that regardless of what's going on with you, the show must go on. And that show could be anything. It don't have to be no YouTube show. It could be a show of your life. It could be a show of being a parent. It could be a show of being a father, uh, a mother, uh, whatever. And it gets tiresome. And, and you know, this this is where the, the midweek uh, conversation, lecture, talk, however you choose to word it, is, is going to be talked about the topic like you know take a deep breath refresh refresh excuse me don't be afraid to push refresh uh it's december 2nd about three o'clock in the afternoon and you know you know december 2nd man it's man listen when I was growing up, my mom and them went shopping for Christmas on Thanksgiving, well, before Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was over. And and we get to a point now where we like, uh, it's December 20th, and we still ain't getting everything. We going crazy. We driving ourselves crazy. But <sighs> my grandma made me, she rest in paradise. You know, made a gravy species. I mean, it, it, my grandma, uh, she used to laugh, right? She's like, what is she laughing about? And uh, we used to mess with my grandma because she, she was like the president of Avon for her for her district and whatever. So she would be giving, you knew what my grandma was giving you. You was getting some cologne, getting some butte. <laughs> you was getting some cologne with a cowboy on it with, with some horns or some socks. You, you basically knew. And, but one thing, I used to sit down 11th Street and talk to my grandma, and I'm so glad that God gave me an opportunity to do so because I got so many Jews, and at the time, I didn't even understand that they were Jews, but I got so many Jews from this lady that it doesn't make any sense. And a lot of times in my family, there ain't a lot of men that I got examples from or, or, or discipline from or, or words from. A lot of the times in my family, it was the women. It, it was my grandma had nine, ten girls and two boys, you know. So if it wasn't somebody who was dating my aunts or you know marrying my aunts, uh, I pretty much had had to look at wiz, wi women for strength and wisdom and all that stuff. So you know, it's like you know my grandma used to be like these fools that's running around with their head cut off, not knowing that Christmas is gonna come when it come. 
And something that simple, it's like, she ain't panic about nothing. Like, nothing. Something happened, she like, oh, I take care of it. If I can't take care of it now, I take care of it later. I used to be like, this woman don't worry about nothing. It wasn't that she didn't worry. It's just that she wasn't afraid to push reset, restart. My grandma wasn't going to let you stress out. She was not going to let nothing stress out. She will put you in, in the quiet box in a heartbeat. My mom, from the training of her mother, my beautiful queen, Sharon McCurdy, uh, she's the same way. Like, you know, I used to look at it as like she didn't care, but the fact is like she not going to let you stress her out. <laughs> She ain't gonna be stressed out. And if she is stressed out, you won't know it. And it'd be totally by choice, but the reality of it is that nine smart ten, she ain't afraid. What 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 do what am I saying? What does all of this have to do with anything? It has to do with the fact that, you know, Christmas is coming up. You're trying to figure out how to pay bills. You're trying to figure out how to do this, how to do that. You know, this pandemic is happening. This pandemic is coming, and it's like it ain't going away. It seems like, you know, the government ain't giving nobody no help. It seems like we ain't getting no help from our jobs. We getting laid off. We getting fired. We getting all of this stuff happening, but the kids don't know. They ain't trying to hear nothing. They still want the toys and the PlayStation 5s and the Xboxes and the, and the hoverboards and all that. They still want all these things. But I'm here to tell you, if you find yourself overwhelmed, don't be afraid to push pause. Don't be afraid to restart. When your phone is messed up and uh, you're trying to get a Wi-Fi, you can't find it, what's the first thing you do? You, you push refresh so it can start searching over again. And when your phone is frozen, it's jammed, you say, okay, you push the butt power button and it gives you the option to turn your phone off, but it also gives you the option to restart your phone. So you won't have to push it back on. All it'll do is cut off and cut right back on. And in life, that's what we got to learn how to do. We got to learn how to refresh our minds. And we got to learn how to restart our lives to the point where you sit down and you say to yourself I cannot be afraid to take a break I can't be afraid to like understand that if I can't get that toy for my son I can't if I can't get this thing if I can't buy them sneakers if I can't have this party if I can't get that tree if, if something is happening in my life and I cannot do it it does not make me less of a person or a loser it just makes me not be able to do that at the time in which I wanted to. I'm not talking about necessities or bills. I'm not talking about stuff that you need to do. I'm not talking about taking care of your children or food. I'm talking about these holidays that's popping up. And on top of that, you're not living in a time or a space where things are regular. You are in the middle of a pandemic. And if you don't tell yourself that, and if you don't apply that to your life, and you still running around with your head cut off like everything's hunky-dory, then you are a participant in your own misery. Like, there's some things going on that's not going to allow you to do stuff like you used to do it. You can't. Now, if you can, don't use what I'm saying as an excuse to be a lame or deadbeat. No, I'm going to try my best to get my sons everything that I told him I was going to give him. I'm going to try my best to put the money aside that I'm supposed to. And, and, and I'm like the squirrels now. I put my money aside in the summer so when wintertime comes, I ain't got to worry. So money won't be a problem now, this time around. I can remember Christmas is me not getting my sons anything I'm supposed to get them and having to get it through another way. See, I'm a real person. I ain't got no problem telling the truth. People act like they've been running around and being saved and sanctified their whole life. People walk around like they had money their whole life. I ain't one of them type of people. It's been times I done struggled, self-inflicted struggle. It's been times that life to just do me a curveball. But the same token, I never knew that I could reset.
I never knew that I could push refresh. I never knew that I could push restart with my mind and my life. Once again, realize that if no one told you they love you, I do. And uh, I love you not because I'm a good person. I love you because I'm a person of love. And that's what we do. I'm not ashamed of it. People of love, love. Even when we don't get love back. You have to understand also that you can have a great day on purpose. Not because you got paid or you got that woman or that man that you wanted. Just because you woke up, you can have a great day on purpose. Not by accident. Last but not least, remember that um, if you have something in your life that makes you miserable and you keep it in your life, you are now a participant in your misery because just like you have something in your life that makes you miserable, you also have a right to get rid of the things in your life that makes you miserable. I mean, uh, thank y'all for listening. It's just midweek conversation and motivation. So hopefully when it's all said and done, y'all got something out of it. If you did, to God be the glory. Be careful one.